All right, so consider this exponential equation. So we have two x minus x squared minus two. So we have this one as a power equals to 16 times two raised to five x. Okay, so we have this one in the bracket and we have this. So we have two here, two there. So the trick in the question is to think this 16. You know, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 16. So this one is 2 to the power 4 is the same as 16. All right. So we need to take this 16 here. So let's do that by making this 2 to the power 4 so this one will be 2 to the power x squared it's 2 so we have 2 to the power 4 so times 2 to the power 5x okay so let's observe the right hand side so let's apply the laws of indices so this we have a exponent m times a exponent n. So the base are equal and we are multiplying. So I'll add the powers. So we have m plus n. So this side will be e to the power x squared minus two. So we have to the power four plus 5x all right so let's see what we can do so the basis are equal so I can equate the exponent so x squared minus 2 equals to 4 plus 5x so this one is a quadratic equation so let's arrange them so we have x squared minus 5x so minus 2 minus 4 so we have minus 6 go to 0 so let's solve this quadratic equation so we have What is zero? So x, x. Now let's look at this minus six. The coefficient here is one. So one times minus is minus six. So let's look at the factors. So let's find two numbers. When we multiply them to give us minus six, but when we put them together to give us minus five. All right. So six times one is six, but this side is minus six. So let me negate this. Minus 6 times 1 and minus 6. Minus 6 times plus 1 is minus 5. So we have minus 6 and positive 1. So we have minus 6 and then positive 1. All right. So let's equate this 1 to 0 to give us s is equal to 6. And this 1 to 0, s will be negative 1. Alright, so the right answers for this question is 6 minus 1. Alright, so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Alright.